All right, got my uh, my own voltmeter here. Check that CAD battery out. Can't see very well. She's tucked right up in there, I know that. Come on, you bugger. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put uh, Okay, so that's showing I have no power on right now to the battery. I wanted to see what it shows for a charge after not being on. So that is 11.19 uh, volts going to that 12 volt system so let me jump up in there and then i'll check it with uh, the power going to it God, I got me a little pack of fuses because once again I left without my fuses out of the tool truck calling for more bad weather today so didn't figure a uh, tool truck would be the best option all right got me a brand new 7.5 amp So, we're going to shut that down. And, boy. I have to have me some power to that baby. So I can get a little light, get a little light action. I am looking for Fuse 37. All right, got a new fuse in there. We tested the battery that CAD battery and that was um, what was that that was 11.19 <clears throat> computer firing up good okay Sounds like that heater's still winding down a little bit. So. The lights are looking good today with them new batteries, everybody. <clears throat> so let's start them up and then I'll jump out and I will check the uh, current on the battery once everything's running. Because 11.19, boy, she starts good again. again. 
you can hear me, but that's showing 13 and a half. Or not quite 13 and a half, but 13.06. See. Thirteen point oh six is uh, is what we had with it, so that was with it charging. That looks good. Um, anything over twelve and a half while the system's running. So let's try maybe with that new fuse. I'm gonna go run this thing for a little while, and uh, hopefully I don't have any more issues with it. Maybe it was just a weak fuse. Everything's got faulty parts and issues with it, you know, nothing's guaranteed. So that's the easiest thing to start with without, uh, without too much money or time involved. So we're gonna go ahead and try that and see how it goes. All right, we'll let you know how it goes shortly. Thanks for watching. Okay, update on the computer. <clears throat> I went all day. Um, well, it's, 20 minutes to 5 and I uh, had no issues with this computer after changing the fuse this morning um, and it uh, just shut off on me when I was cutting that aspen right there so um, what they say to do is there's two little thumb screws on each side of the monitor and uh, I guess I'm supposed to pull them out, lower it down, and check for one of these plugs here. Okay. And that one is loose. That's the one that they said would be loose. So I'm very much hoping that that would be it. So let's try that. Tilt her all the way back so she's set up. Anti glare mode. All right. I hear her firing up now. She is turning on. Well, we'll see uh, 
she makes it the next couple hours. Everything's turning on, so we'll try her out now, see what she does. Another update coming at the end of the day. End up uh, staying on the rest of the day, so um, I'm kind of hoping it was just that wire. Um, like I said, it was a little bit loose, took it a couple turns. Um, so we'll try her again tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be it. Like I said, it stayed on the rest of the evening, so we'll go with that. Call it cured for now.